Hello everyone, ABT here, and I am back again with another video for Star Wars Galaxy's Legends. Today we're jumping right back into the Legacy Quest, where we were working to infiltrate the Chirk Council. So, we're to get... Woohoo! I cannot speak. We're gonna get right back into that, where we need to go over here and speak with Jorzo Quinera. Looks like it's a bunker out here to Jorzo's bunker. What bunker do you have here, sir? Looks like Jorzo is right inside the entrance here. Church Council Underboss. Yeah, what do you want? I'm busy. I'm Trins Evnar. I recognize that name. You work for Kazakh Pendry, right? Only I haven't heard from Kazik lately. That's why I'm here. I'm looking for work. I can't find Kazik. Well, all right. I'll throw you some work. I'll throw some work your way. If you do well enough, I might just give you that deadbeat Kazik's job. I need you to oversee the acceptance of a delivery of spice. This is important because it's being delivered by some monumenters. Okay. And this is the first time we worked with them. Keep your eyes open. I'll send some guards to meet to the meet to watch your back. I'll take care of it. All right, so it looks like we're going to make sure the spice gets delivered. And I guess we're working with monumenters. I don't know why I couldn't seem to read that for some reason. I just didn't think anybody would be called a monumenter. But uh, that's apparently what they are. Looks like we're going to have to take four crates of spice, defeat seven monumenters, and defeat seven church council Ruffy, so basically we're just going to show up to the spice meet and uh, kill everybody. Let's see if I can't aggro a good number of these people over here. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Dropping like flies. Alright. That went really, really well. Let's see if we can't do it again. That's a lot. That's a lot of them. That worked out, though. Alright. So that's all the church council ruffians we needed to take out. Now it's just taking out the Monumenters, and then I see plenty of crates of Spice around here, so that's not going to be an issue either. So let's go ahead and grab some. Just grab a couple more from over here. Awesome, and then we only need three more of these Poachers here. Let's go ahead and aggro them up. And of course they're going to split up as soon as I throw a Cluster Bomb. Jerks! deal. Apparently we're going to take out a lot more than three, because they are just running all over the place. And of course. Bays and switch the spice. I'm assuming we're going to put some sort of tracker on the spice, or maybe we're going to swap it out for something else entirely. Let's see what Captain Bays wants to do with it. Alright, Captain Good, we'll switch the spice you collected with some poor quality spice that we've diluted with a common medicinal powder. It's unlikely that Jorza will notice, but even if he does, he'll blame the Monumenters. Okay. Basically, we're switching up the spice with something harmless. I guess as long as it works. So let's go back over here to Jorza. Chisoro? Chisoro, I guess. I've been saying it wrong. Chisoro. Let it 
and know that we were successful at the meet. It's a good thing these guys don't communicate very well with each other. All right, Jezora. What happened out there? Well, there was a big fight. We were double crowds, but I got the spice. I was afraid of something like that, but I'm impressed that you kept your head and took care of business. That's important in our line of work, so we'll keep working together. I have another job for you. What's the job? Rumor has reached my ears of Corsac agent masquerading as a small-time thug in order to gather information about the council. I don't care if it's true or not. Find out who this rumor is about and get rid of them. I'll get rid of them. Go warn Lilith. Oh, no. All right, let's go talk to Lilith. She was the one who provided us with our lead to begin with. Don't you worry, Lilith. We're coming. Lilith isn't dead yet. Can't be seen talking. It's too dangerous. I know, but you're in danger. Keep a low profile for a while. There's the warning. It'll be out if I disappear from the streets, so I need to stay visible, but I'll halt my investigation for now. Alright. We got a camera. Low cost handheld camera capable of high resolution pictures with a minimum of light. Take a picture, select your subject. As your intended target and then double click the camera in your inventory so we need to take ebla puckett's picture and defeat six gray shroud terrorists okay so we're gonna go ahead and do that really really has a large problem with terrorists Kind of ridiculous, actually. Gray Shroud Terrorist Base. Alright, let's see if I can't find the person we're supposed to take a picture of. Gray Shroud Terrorists. Gray Shroud Terrorist. Oh, there she is. So I ever targeted, and I can just double click this, really. Cool, but now I need to eliminate her now that I have her photo. Should not be too much of an issue. Stop running all over the place. Good gravy. I'm not making my lives easy. Lives. Apparently I have multiple lives now as well. Alright, only two more. Looks like there's two right here. So they'll be a perfect candidate for a cluster bomb. And good night. Awesome. Use the Corsac terminal. Okay. Looks like we're going to drive back into town again and use the Corsic Terminal. I think this is the terminal that's right next to Captain Bay's. So I'm not quite sure what we're doing with the terminal, but we're going to use it. There it is. Use the picture you took of Ebola Puckett and the Corsic Terminal next to Captain Bay's to manufacture a fake Corsic ID. Ah, so basically we're pinning the terrorist as Avila. Perfect. That makes sense. Alright, let's use the terminal. Awesome. Now let's take this fake ID over to Jezoro. That way he's nice and confident that we've taken care of the Corsac agent 
plaguing his ranks. Zoro, we're back. So the rumor about the undercover Corsac agent was true. Very surprising. I knew those Grey Shroud terrorists, and they seemed legit to me. Well done. Very well done, I'm convinced. I always heard good things about you from Kazakh, and now I know for myself. I'm giving you Kazakh's job. If he resurfaces, I'll deal with him. So what's the scope of our operations? Our operations? You don't have my job. Not yet. But okay, I get what you're asking. I've given you authorization to access my mainframe. Go see for yourself. I think you'll be surprised and impressed at everything we're into. Interesting, okay, where is his terminal? There's an animal cage right there. Looks like I need to defeat some of these trade council people. Because, you know, that's not suspicious at all. But, uh, we'll do it nice and explosively and quietly. It's totally fine. Quiet explosions. How are you alive? Where is your terminal? Is it here? Central computer, I'm assuming that means yes. Ooh, boy. That's a lot of people. I'm gonna go ahead and stand fast. Just in case things get crazier than they already are. We'll just keep throwing buster bombs. Clear everybody out. Awesome. Let's see what's on the computer. You learn the church council is controlled by nine people who are known as the elite council. It's uh, not a very clever name, but okay. This is Star Wars, after all, where the Empire fights the Rebellion. And no, I don't dislike Star Wars. Not anyone says it. Alright, need a few more lookouts. Don't seem to be wardens. Are they all wardens? They are. Maybe there's another lookout upstairs. We'll go check outside. Ah, yes, lookouts. Perfect. And back to Captain Bay's we go. We have now learned who heads up the church council. I'm assuming that after we talk to Captain Bayes, we're going to have to try and identify and eliminate the leadership of the church council. So let's see what the next step here is going to be. now know that the Church Council is governed by nine members who call themselves the Elite Council. Your next, your next task is simple enough, though quite dangerous. Eliminate the Elite Council. Don't worry, I can take care of them. I have no doubt, according to the information you downloaded from Jezoro, the Elite Council has two bases outside of town. Start with the one to the south. I'm on my way. Alright. So, that's actually where we're going to conclude this video. We'll pick it up next time, where we go and we eliminate the Elite Council of the Church Council. So as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below, and may the force be with you.